does that even mean, Bowers? Hey, YouTube, I'm back here today for another Bowers play, and today I'm excited to be playing less chess. This is for two players, ages eight plus. It take you about five minutes to play, and I got everything set up and teach you how to play the game right now. So in less chess. It's really quite simple what you're going to be doing. On your turn, you are first going to draw a card and see what is on that card. Next, you are then going to place a piece onto the board orthogonally, meaning left, right, up, or down, next to one of your pieces that is already on the board, or move that piece that's pictured, so in this case the rook, uh, a legal move, with the goal of trying to get your opponent's king in check by three different pieces so let's get into it so rook i'll start off right here we'll uh we'll put him right here in the back then it goes over to this player right here boom because i have zero attacks nobody's attacking the king right now we got the knight and we will bloom place that right there actually i cannot do that that's a legal move because it was diagonal as my son would say so we're just gonna do that instead actually we'd go right there because then we could potentially boom take that out moving on over here we got a pawn you do that. It's not diagonal because it's orthogonally to the rook. Moving on over here, we got another pawn. Yeah, let's put that right there. A little log jam. Pawn. Yeah, we take it. Bam. Take it down. Cool. Moving on over here. Queen. Getting the queen out. Now, how this works is, in this deck, there are a certain number of cards. There's eight pawns, two knights, two rooks, two bishops, a queen, and zero kings. Your king will never move. So that means that you your queen is not going to come up until you get to your deck, until you get through your deck uh, more than once, which does not always happen in this game. So I feel like I need to... Hmm, I could put him right here and just push the issue. Yeah, let's push the issue right there. That's legal because it's connected right there. And now we have one attack on this person's king, and we're really banking on the fact that they're not going to get another rook. Queen. Queenie, queen, queen. Where are we going? Right here. That looks good. All right, moving on. Pawn. We can't move this pawn. It's jammed, but we can put... What can we do? It's a tough one. I feel like we go right here. So that way we can take that piece out. Knight. I like it. I thought we had a knight on the board. We don't, but we can put it right there, which means now two. One, two are one more on white, and white is going to win the game. Rook. We don't have a rook yet. The rook is not going to help too much, but we can put it right here to block them from playing right there. Or we could go right here, which would put two. No, no, no. That's too risky. Too risky. Got to play defense. Pawn. Hmm. Pawn, pawn, pawn. Where do you put this one? Right here, I suppose. Yeah, it just makes the most sense. Or we could take out this. Yeah, we'll take out this. Because if you can get a pawn on your opponent's back row, any of these three spots, then you get whatever piece you want back. Uh, and the way that I read it in the rules is that, yeah, you could also place a pawn right there and then boom, bada, boom, 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 it would swap out, which would be obviously pretty, pretty epic. Uh, so what do we got? We just took the piece with the pawn. What do we got going over here? We got another pawn. <sighs> How do we do this? What do we do with our pawn? <clears throat> we got to block them, right? We got to block them from getting back here. So we put our pawn right here. Bishop. Bam. Let's go diagonal. Right there. Yeah, because if we can cut right there, then we'll have them in check. That'd be good. All right, bishop, we don't have a bishop yet. So let's just go ahead and block right there. Yeah, looks good. Knight. Ooh, so this knight's already in the position to move. Ooh, can we do, can we do? No, nothing, nothing. We could take out the queen, though. That'd be good. That'd be a big play. Whew, it's getting intense. It's getting intense. Pawn. <clears throat> All right, what do we do with this pawn? Oh, Oh, that means it automatically turns into something else. Wait, that wasn't a legal move. We couldn't do that. We couldn't place that pawn there. What am I doing? <laughs> Did I put the wrong color on? Yeah, I put the wrong color on. Whoops. Loop. Yeah, I was like, how in the world? Uh, I really don't notice things sometimes. So this pawn will go right here, I suppose. So that way we potentially take them out if we get a pawn before they do. But if they get a pawn before we do, 
Now that's bad because they have taken us out and they're going to turn that into this, which now means they have one, two, three people locked onto the king and bada boom, white has won. Congratulations, right hand. You have beaten left hand and that's less chess. I tell you what, this is one of my favorite chess variants that I've ever played. If you understand chess, you can quickly pick this one up. Uh, does not outstay its welcome. Highly recommend checking this one out. Less chess from Spin Master Games. If it looks like it might be your cup of tea. Be sure to check out the Amazon link down below. If you click on that, it helps me out a little bit. I get like a couple pennies. Also, if you enjoy the content, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below as I'm trying to reach 17,000 subscribers in the year 2023 to make it my biggest year ever. And in the comments below, let me know what's your favorite chess variant in the whole wide world. For me personally, it is Nightmare Chess, but I'm really excited about how could I possibly combine Nightmare Chess and less chess together. But Nightmare Chess from Steve Jackson Games. Highly recommend checking that one out. As always, bye -bye. this video is brought to you by all of my amazing Patreon supporters, and I would love it if you would join their ranks and have your name immortalized in the end of many of my videos for the end of time. But consider for only a dollar a month, and as always, thanks for stopping by.